All right, good morning, guys. <clears throat> we are doing the homework for inequalities homework for January 15th, 2019. Um, we're looking at solutions for inequalities. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to remember is that number one, our inequalities um, are solved almost exactly like we solve um, equations. However, we need to be looking for if we multiply or divide by a negative. <clears throat> so, first of all, we've got which inequality represents all the solutions for negative 3x is greater than 27. So I'm going to go ahead and write this over to the side here just so that I have a little bit more space to work. I'm also going to make sure that I put my name up in the corner. Even though I tell you guys this every single time, I still get no-name papers. So if you have got a zero in the grade book, but you know you turned in that homework, I would go check the tray above your journal to see if maybe you forgot to put your name on it. So first, I'm going to draw my line. Then I'm going to look up here, and I'm going to think about my flip-flop. And my flip-flop said, if I multiply or divide by a negative, that I need to make sure that I am flipping the sign, meaning that instead of greater than, I would have less than. So I'm looking up here and I'm seeing, attached to my variable is my coefficient negative. Well, my coefficient, which is the number that's multiplied by the variable, is negative, and so I know that I'm gonna need to flip this sign. I like to do it at the very beginning. You can wait if that's what you would like to do, but I do it ahead of time just so that I don't forget at the end. <clears throat> so now we're going to do our one twos. Number one, what's the operation that's happening? I am multiplying by a negative three. All right, so what's the opposite of multiplying by a negative three? Well, dividing by a negative three. I'm going to make sure to do the opposite on both sides just to keep that balance. So if I divide by negative 3 over here, negative 3 divided by negative 3 gives me 1. 1 times x just gives me x. And I need to make sure I divide by a negative 3 on this side as well. 27 divided by a negative 3, they're different signs. So I need to make sure that I carry through that negative. And 27 divided by 3 is 9. So x is less than negative 9. If we look through our chances, first of all, we could have ruled these two out because they didn't flip their sign. And we know it's a negative 9 because we had different signs. So the answer is b. All right. Which number line? I'm going to let you guys work on number 2 because I just reminded you um, exactly what to do. All you're doing on number two is you're taking 6.5 because x is greater than 6.5. You're going to plug in um, this number anytime you see x, 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 and see if does that make the inequality true. You're looking for which one is true. So there's probably going to be quite a few that are false. All right, which number line shows all the solutions for w minus 2 is less than or equal to 8? So we have w minus 2 is less than or equal to 8. Now the first thing I want us to think about, less than or equal to. Do you see, do you hear the word equal to? Do you see the line beneath our inequality sign? Okay, when we think equal to, we need to remember what our dot looks like. I made you guys say equal to, closed. Equal to, closed. Like a chant for a good five minutes. So when we're looking at our different lines, we can already rule a few out based on the fact that this is open. And that doesn't work. As is this, so that one doesn't work. Now we have to do a little bit of math here because both our B and D move in the correct direction of our line. Um, so we have to do 
I'm going to move all the way to the bottom and do W minus 2 is less than or equal to 8. Draw my line. I'm not multiplying or dividing, so there's no way that I'm flipping my sign because my coefficient for W is 1. So we have the operation. What's the operation? We're subtracting 2. The opposite of subtracting 2? Adding 2. The reason we're doing this, the reason we do the opposite to both sides is to get our variable all by itself. We have